Welcome to part two of the photo yeah. The next few days are going to be just Hunter and I. Um, we extended our trip. If you guys missed the last one, there's a part one to this. And we were with a bunch yeah. of friends in Florida and we decided to stay a little bit longer after everyone left. And now we are here. It's dinner time it's dinner on the time. first day, night. Sunset vibes. We just got ready for dinner. Um, we're about to leave. Do you have the keys actually? I do. Have, oh, wait. I have the car keys. I need the other keys as you well. You want to grab them? Okay. I'll show you my outfit real what, fast. What are, where do we put those other keys? Uh, Oh, I got it right here. Back. Um, I'm wearing an all white look vacation vibe tonight, which I'm very happy about. Can you give me a show it? Um, it's sure. right there. I'll take a picture. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. What is your deal? I don't know. I dropped the last camera, and this is a new one we went right. to Target. And that's the first camera I've broke. You've broken 12. Butterfingers, keep it together, or else this vlog's not Fumble. Hard. That would have almost a fumble. All right. Um, I almost, wow, that was close. Well, where, how are you grabbing it? That no, I don't know. It's like, I don't know. It's We're good. those oils. <laughs> it's not, I, my, my hands aren't oily. They're almost like dry. Oh, so. They're probably dry. Okay. My top is the Line by K. <laughs> pants are Zara. My Bottega bag. And then my necklace is Vanessa Mooney. And we've got this little Nixie Studios green one layered on as well. Cute. Yeah. You do yours? Looking good. What we kind of shoes, what's your shoes you got on? My haul, my summer haul, if you missed it, the gold ones. And my inklet is Oreum. Okay. I would normally wear shorts to dinner, but Julie keeps wearing pants, and I'm like, I want to match the vibe a little bit. So okay. I'll wear pants as well. But I'm wearing this as a Zara shirt. It's cute. I'm wearing Linen. jeans. I forget where these are from. Don't cross your legs. I know. And Because we can't see it. Okay. Can we see them? There we go. Is that better? That's <laughs> better. Instead of this? <laughs> yeah. Like, I want to see okay. the fit. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what jeans these are. They're probably. Urban, I bet. Yeah. Um, and then these are my fry booties. These are a different color. They're more like rustic-y looking. But that'd be kind of more beachy. They're cute. So if I had, this is the only pair of boots I brought. I bought, brought a bunch of other like tennis shoes and slides and sandals. So they look good. Anyway. Okay. Well, looking um, cute. We're gonna. No. Oh god, this camera. Oh, gum. I have gum. You're you a gum, gum addict. No, I just. You, you you know in your head you have gum. I, I don't know gum. that I have gum, so I was like, Let Yeah, me but get you're going to eat dinner. You don't really need gum when you have dinner. Yeah, I have gum. You're addicted to gum. You eat. I'm not addicted to gum. He ate, you guys, he's bought in like four packs of I've bought. tubs of gum. Okay, I'm not not even a pack, a tub. It has like 60 pieces in it. Yeah, I bought, and I bought two of those, through. and you got one in your purse, and we, and we Babe, shared I didn't the, even eat those. So those you are, got, listen, you ate all of them. Out. The ones in the purse are still, like, they're full. The one in the car was for everyone, and everyone was digging into it every time we got in the car. Okay. Not just me. Alright. And if it was okay. F off, I can eat my gum I mean, that's just a lot of gum. It's a little excessive. Sorry. I'm on you tonight. <laughs> turn okay. your curling iron off. I turned my curling iron off, yes. Um, we're staying in a cute little rental. This is the courtyard. There's a little pool. We'll link the rental down below. It's perfect if you just are two people. We're just in the Great carriage size. house. This is the other house, the main house. And someone else is staying there. We're in the side carriage house. Yeah. I think that's and the house. yeah, that's the bigger house. The carriage house is always a smaller house. Right, 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 right. Hey. You look cute. Are you? Yeah. Thank you. I was going to go all white with Julia, but I feel like that's so like cliche to beach match. vibe. I might like matching it. all white. But that's like such a family beach photo. It really is. I need to get a picture before we uh, lose all of our light. Where you just like you're addicted to pictures. I am addicted to pictures. It's like addicted to pictures. That I'll admit. I am. Um... Goose would love it here. Goose would love it here. I told Julia I that she should get a tattoo that says "Goose would love it here." And I want to get a tattoo of a goose, like a like a bird, like a little goose or a geese. Kind of cool. So cute. All right, take uh, your picture. Right Should I balance it on this thing? No. Oh, oh. It's like a bobblehead. All right. Across See you at dinner. Yeah. We're in the car. We'll, we'll probably be in the car on the way to dinner. I don't know why I'm dropping cameras all of a sudden. I've never had that issue. You're usually the one to break the cameras. I know. I usually am. 
Maybe it's because I'm so relaxed. I'm just Maybe. Feeling and I'm good. pretty relaxed too. And you know, we actually were asking you guys on Instagram, we're like, should we vlog or um, do you guys just want one vlog too? Obviously, like, I always think the more the better, but I figured I'd ask. And most of you guys were like, oh, just relax, like, take the time. Well, a like, lot of people said yes, vlog, but the people that said no were saying no, not because yeah. they don't want it, not but like they said nice no. Way. They were like, no, y'all need to, y'all should go relax and shop and like vlogging this whole time. And yeah. one thing for us that we were talking about is that we were relaxing the whole time. We only we so vlogged relaxed. like maybe like yeah. 2% of the whole trip. I know. Which way so this? sorry, I missed out on a lot. Um, yeah, the, the vlog was, we really didn't vlog like that much. So, I mean, we did, we covered a lot of things, but it wasn't like where we couldn't enjoy it and that we felt so relaxed. It was the first time I'd kind of like left a trip and I was like, I have a lot of energy. I don't feel like beat down from the vacation or drained even for oh being wrong. Oh my around. goodness. Boy. Where, where We're in a we? dead end. We're staying in Rosemary Beach, and it's kind of a maze a little bit. I think you have to go out the way that you came in. The first, the first part of the trip with our friends, we stayed in. It's technically Rosemary, right? Yeah. It was it's like Rosemary slash Seacrest, right next to Alice Beach. Mm -hmm. um, and then this time we're like in the Rosemary area, kind of like right behind the Pearl. Yeah. The Pearl at Rosemary. Pearl Hotel, and it's super cute. We love it. Cute vibes. And we had such a good time um, with our friends and just, it was really nice. We felt very relaxed, but we just wanted to extend a little bit because we were like not quite ready to give up like our beach time. Like we really wanted to hang out at the beach a little bit more and just do like just a few more days of fun. Oh, um, wedding. Oh, wedding. Oh, cool. Should we go listen to the speeches? No. Um. Yeah, so we're gonna go down to Alice Beach. It's really nice. And we're going to go to a new restaurant there called The Citizen. Anyways, we'll show you when we get there. I don't wanna yeah. just like say, oh, this is what we're gonna go through. But yeah. Yeah, we're going to dinner. And just gonna have like a nice little chill evening. It's already 7 p.m., so we'll probably. It's like hard to get out early here, I feel like, for some reason. Yeah. I mean, well, you wanna like fall, get as much sun as you can, and then it's like 6 o'clock. I know. We need to start earlier, that's the problem. It kind of looks like Charleston here. My um, wasn't to start hurting again. Yeah. I think it's like, anytime I drink alcohol, I think it, that's like what induces like the irritation in my in my wisdom tooth jaw area. I yeah I I could see that. Cause I was fine on little thirty. After yeah, like after true. like being here and being off a whole thirty a little bit, like having like um, cheese and bread and pizza and alcohol. Yeah. It made me like miss Whole30. Yeah. Like miss well, eating clean like that. I like eating clean. Not for, truly not, it's like the not so much physical, it's like how I feel. No, I feel like 100%. I say that every time we talk about it, but I, I just want to get that across. It's like, oh, the feeling is like un... Beatable. Beatable, can't beat it. It's like nothing else. Yeah, I mean, that's the motivation enough. Like, just having all that energy and stuff. Even though when you're with like friends and I feel like having fun, you don't really think about being tired and stuff because you're just having a good time. You're just like wearing yourself down. Pretty much. Oh. Okay, well we'll show you, we'll take you to happy hour. So many dinner. cute little puppies around here. So many cute puppies, I know. There was a dog with a visor on today, he was so cute. That was cute. So cute. All oh, right. It's fun. Okay, we'll see you soon. All right, we put our name in at Citizen for dinner. Remember, we're stopping at Meat for a drink. I'm getting a little old fashioned. Old fashioned. I'm having a little drink. The background is absolutely lovely. We're at, it, neat is like a little place where they have one, two, three, they have five tables. Yeah. And here it is. It's right here in Alice Beach and George's is over there. It's the view, it's really pretty. We went to George's earlier in the week and then tonight we're, for dinner we're going next door to Citizens. Citizens over there. So we're having some old fashions at Neat before dinner because we have to wait. We ordered some olives and some chips. We're gonna just basically have a little spritz and chips. They basically said that it's gonna be a two hour wait, but I doubt it. It will be. We always 
we I always think that restaurants tell us really long waits, not like us specifically, but they try to like scare people. It's like a newer thing over the past couple of years, I feel yeah. like, where they're like, oh, it's like a three hour wait. Yeah. Are you willing? And it's like, it's like yeah. yeah, and then, and then it's, it's usually late. like 45 minutes, but they like try to scare you kind of. That's happened in Nashville all the time. I've been in Texas too, in North Italia a lot. All the time. They'd be like, it's three and a half hours. Three and a half hours. You're like, uh, You're like, right, okay, come on, that's like the I'll whole still, evening. I'll still go. Yeah, still I'm like, hungry. sure. And then 25 minutes you're seated, it's like, whatever. But it feels nice to be here. I feel like very like one, one, wound down. One down. Wound, wound, wound down. Wound, wound down. What is it once you've been Camera's winded heavy. down? Winded down. Wound, like you're wound up or you're wound down. I think. People don't usually say wound down. My hair's looking kind of flat. Your roots are just a little flat. You just gotta like. Shoulders burning right now from this camera. Just it's, a little heavier. it's a little heavier. It's a little slippery too. It's a little, heavier, a little warmer. It's pretty too slippery. Too. <laughs> a little bit. Ow, okay, I need you to switch. You gotta hold it. Way too heavy. Um, some of y'all actually messaged me on Instagram and said that we should do a spritz and chips while we're here. In That's a good Colorado. idea. And it's been quite a while, so maybe we'll do that. Mm -hmm. Or maybe we won't. And we'll do it when we get back to Nashville. Yeah. But anyway, we, we miss Spritz and Gems. We like Spritz and Gems. I know. We've just fallen off, like, guys, since we, we moved and then moved to Nashville. Like, our whole YouTube rhythm, like, we've kept up with vlogs. But other than vlogs, like, we haven't really, like, been able to figure it out. So, we're free. Then some fashion videos, but nothing, yeah. like, not too much home decor specific videos. It's usually like home decor within a vlog or yeah. something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but we want to get back on our game. Yeah. And we want to do more spits and chips, more like more creative less. fun things that we enjoy yeah. versus just like the regular vlogs. And we know y'all love vlogs. We'll always do vlogs. We will We're always do ever vlogs. Get to and do we love vlogs, vlogs too, but if it's only vlogs, it's basically a vlog channel at that point. Mm -hmm. And our channel is basically a vlog channel. But we do like the variety and like kind of a change of the Just a lot. few other things to, you know, switch it up and stuff. So. Yeah. I, wonder how, I wonder how the audio is on this camera. I do too. You may not be able to what hear a thing we're saying. We might need a microphone. Oh my god, that's that so mad. I mean, that would be so bad. Wait, we'll show you when the apps come. You know, like the zoom's not on here, but it's on the. I know. It's kind of clear though. <laughs> Alright, we got olives. The olives are red. We got some chips. Yeah. Zappa chips. Mm -hmm. And then we got some sriracha meatballs. I said they were really good and they're small. They're like lollipops. Yeah. Are Pretty they good. good. Yeah, they're good. Can you just like do like an up angle? Sure. Perfect. Sorry guys, the only way the new camera will sit. No. It's not the new camera, we just don't have anything to put it on. Yeah, we don't have anything to put on. I was saying it's nice to go on vacation and just literally like eat whatever you want and like not worry about anything and also like relax. Like, mm -hmm. well, just eat. It's just you like, basically just indulge your. No, yeah, I'm saying like emotionally you let go. You're not working. You get to eat all the fun food, mm -hmm. drink, have fun. Just, it's not about decisions, it's You're about just, like, just it's, whatever. There's no restrictions. <clears throat> no restrictions. Zero restrictions on the YouTube. And it's like really nice. Mm. I like it. This is like yeah. such a spritz and chips vibe, huh? This is such a spritz and chips vibe. I feel like we're so mellow right now. It's mm. insane. Way different than at home. Huh? Olives are good. They're so good. Olives are Palomadas, marinated. So Greek of us. So Greek, Mediterranean, as much. Everything tasting good? Thank you, Very yeah, good. it's amazing. I'm Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, okay, Hunter and I always felt like everywhere we went, we were like, when we go on a vacation, we go somewhere, we wanna like play into like the part of where mm -hmm. we're going, right? We immerse, beach yourself. immerse yourself mm -hmm. in the environment, right? So you were going to like Paris, like, I'm like, I wanna wear like faux fur and like, these extra clothes. Yeah, I want to wear like, Hunter's, like I want to wear a suit and, and like a coat and like yeah. Mm. And then when we're on the when we're like in San Diego, we're I like, think a lot of we want to be like too. chill and beachy, right? Okay. So we always thought that was weird because we were like, you know, does oh, are do, we does everybody changing? Do that or? Yeah, or are we flex flexing too much? I think I'm up, Sorry, flexing too much with the environment. 
and then we watch the Ralph Lauren documentary, and he literally like creates identities yeah. like everywhere he goes. He'd go to like he has like Colorado ranch house, and he goes to Colorado. And he's like full and he's like cowboy. I'm a cowboy. I am a cowboy. Mm. I live in New York City, and I have like a modern yeah. ass apartment. Or he's Ooh, like, in like uh, yes. the Hamptons, and he's like beach vibes. Legit, it's cool. It's like cool. he literally just like whatever he role he wants to play, he like does that. Like he's a character in a movie, and Hunter and I but are like, that he, is us. He kind of explains it like he's a character in his own movie, in his, in own, his movie. own world, in his own movie, and and each we kind of feel that way. We've always we felt totally feel that way. And it's weird that we both feel that way. I'm not saying we're like Ralph Lauren. I'm saying it was cool to see that documentary and feel like. Well, he does that too. Like throw the ball over. The no, it it, yeah. it affirmed that behavior because yeah. I always thought that was like, oh, I, I thought it was maybe like a negative of like, well, you're just not so sure who you are. And it's like not really like. Just and maybe creative. at the time that was true, you know, like. Well, do you ever know who you are? We've like, evolved. Like, we've evolved over time, and like I think for. Do you ever know? No one ever knows who they are, like, completely. Like, I mean. But, 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 but in the fashion space, it's like. Fashion evolves. You have to try new things. And vacation is like a place to do that. Experiment. Like it'd be, it'd be weird if I was like living in Texas and started wearing like all of a sudden just like for a week. Like wore what I would wear. Linen cloth. Yeah. No. Totally. Totally. You know what I mean? But like, why but, not? That's an excuse. Like the different yeah. climates, the different weather, the different places you go, the it different gives dinners. You, it gives it you a gives reason you a to role. explore. A different right. side of yourself. Exactly. Totally. Kind of makes it fun. It's so cool. Yeah. Mm. So, anyways, yeah, the Ralph, doc the Ralph Lauren documentary, it's really cool. It's on, A plus. I think it's on Hulu or Amazon Prime. It's one of my it's favorite documentaries. It's worth watching. If you're and creative, if I, I would say, like, if I was, love it. We, we got asked that question not too long ago, like, if you were to hang out with a celebrity, a live or dead, and, like, have, have, like, dinner with them and, like, spend the day with them and, like, kind of learn from them, who would it be? And I would for sure say Ralph Lauren. I was such a good answer. I was like, dang it, that's a good answer. I thought you it was you like that one? Yeah, I mean, I said Jesus, but like, that's, that's like, but I, I literally good. like, I actually like, I like fantasize about that, like talking to Jesus. Like, I'm like, what would that be like? That'd be cool. Just like a normal, like a one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, obviously it would not be normal by any means, but like it would be so crazy. It'd be but, cool to hang out with a person, like like a Jesus, that yeah, could like, like speak, in a, a speak in like a manner. Yeah, body, way. yeah. Thank you. Well, yes. we're going to put the camera away for a second. Yeah. And Anyways. enjoy our little drinks before dinner. Hope you enjoyed our happy hour. We'll show you what we ordered for dinner. I don't know what I'm getting there. We actually went there last night with Delaney and Clayton for some pre-dinner cocktails and oysters. some oysters. They're really good. So we don't know what we've never been there for dinner yet. We got so a text. It'll be interesting to see what we get. But I think I'm thinking you're gonna get some fish and some rice. Maybe. We'll yeah. see what, what pops out to me. I saw some crispy fish last night. That looked really good. Yeah, that was really good. But we'll like see. I, I do want some more oysters. What else did we get last night for appetizers? I think this is one of the better restaurants, restaurants in this area. We'll have yeah. to say. I did like our George's the other night. George's is fire. George's is really We've good. been there before and it, it was always really good. It's like a classic. I feel um, like parents would like it like anybody. Shungoli was good. Shungoli was bomb. Cool. That was good. It was, was like, really good. it was like hometown good. Like. But even like the crab legs, they were like gourmet. They weren't like crappy. No, it, it was good. It was, it was good. good. All right, okay. let's get dinner. We just sat at our table, finally. We waited about an hour and a half. She ordered a Manhattan. I got this drink, it's called The Zest is History. And it's cinnamon and grapefruit. It's perfect. It's my two favorite flavors. We just had both got them just a second ago, and it like really made us tired. We're like sleepy. <laughs> I hope y'all are enjoying the cocktail right now as well. Leave a comment what you're drinking and sipping on. Even if it's like a little cup of tea. Probably can't hear us. What are you sipping? We're saving, we're splitting because we want to save your dessert. dessert. We need a bread pudding. And that, even if it's just a bite, we say we're gonna take just a bite, but we'll probably crush it. We'll eat the whole thing. We'll get them all yeah. But we're gonna go to home time. We're gonna go to the beach tomorrow morning early. At 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Beach it all day long. We're on a beach day, so I don't wanna be hungover for that. I kinda wanna 
take like snacks to eat. Like veggies and hummus. Yeah. So true. Alright. Here's the wedge. Looks so good. I saw it on Yelp, so I was like, we gotta get it. Alright, the main course crusted flounder, shrimp, and grits. It looks so good. Hot. Good though? How's your drinks? Good. I'm trying to slow down. I love you. Okay, so Julia's got some decaf. I got some chamomile tea. And we have this bread pudding. Stunning. Let me know how it is. Mm. High roll. Boom. Shaka lot. I don't like that. Why'd you unbutton your pants? Because I'm so full. <laughs> I had to pull up my underwear. <laughs> I've been there. I've done that. I'm not, you're not the only one. Really? Yeah. We ate so many appetizers. Why did we do that? Thank God we shared a meal. We always ordered two meals. What were we thinking? You almost ordered two meals. No, I didn't. You said we sh Even when the meal came, you said, oh, we should have got the other one too. Because the food's good. Oh, yeah. I'm like all about sharing. The sharing life is nice because you can share a little salad and an appetizer. You can share a main course, and then you actually leave some room for dinner. Or for, for dessert. I know. Versus, like, craving dessert, but you're already full by dessert time. I know. No, you're totally right. Yeah, it's true. You're not, you're... Babe. These pants are also just high-waisted these, pants. These, these pants? No. Okay, these these girls know. These are, uh, Brown's like, like, what size pants are you? 29? Like, no. I'm like a 31. Yeah, 31. Okay, so... I used to be a 33 in college. I thought you were a 30. And then I was a 30, and I'm about a 31. Did you gain weight? Gained abs. Oh. I'm kidding. I think I gained a little bit of inches, too, from the muscle building. Anyways, that's the point. So, what I was saying... Okay, so if you're a 31, like Zara, well you have Zara jeans, but Zara would be like, not like you're a 32 in Zara, you'd be like a 30, not even a 33, you'd be like a 34 in Zara. Like Zara is like slim, so like the jean sizes, like I have to be like, I'm normally like a 2 or a 4, and in Zara I'm like a 6. And these are a 2 in Zara. But they fit you well. So they fit, they fit all night. But if you eat too much, they're not going to fit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> They're too small. They're petite. They are Zara petite. You're cute. Thanks. She gets a little buzz uh, at night. She regrets it. I drink it. too much. I eat too much. Why did I do that? I hate myself. I don't know. All right, y'all. We're gonna take a quick pause to discuss today's sponsor. We're working with Warby Parker on their at-home try-on kit. If you guys have never heard of Warby Parker, they're a really nice eyewear brand. They do sunglasses, prescription glasses. They even have blue, blue light, light glasses. Yeah, yeah literally everything. all the things. Um, their styles start at about ninety-five dollars. They are really nice quality, good frames, and the try-on kit at home is like the best thing ever. We yeah. just you, got ours. You can order five frames online and they ship it to you free of cost and you try them on, kind of play around with like which dial you like and then you can send them back and get your prescription added to them. Um, based on the style Based, based on the want. style. So yeah. like maybe you choose one of those five, maybe you choose all five. Maybe some are sunglasses, some are reading glasses or just like Mixer. prescription. And then you can also say like, hey, I really like these lens here, but I want to make them into blue light glasses or something like that. Totally. So it's really easy. You just go online, take a quiz, pick out your five mm -hmm. pairs. It's completely free. They will ship them to you. We'll show the five pairs that we picked out. Um, and then you get to see which ones like look best on your face. I always say with sunglasses, prescription glasses, anything, like you really have to try them on to know what fits your face the best because everyone's heads are shaped really differently. Yeah, I mean, these are two of the five actually. So yeah. what, are, what are those ones called? I, I actually, these are my favorite. They're like a little bit of a green lens. These are the Hemmings. Hemmings? I thought it was going to say Hemingway, but Hemmings. Hemmings yeah. We'll put the names on the screen, but they're really cute. I want to get these with blue light. These are just like placebo lenses for the try-on. All five that we chose were kind of like unisex. We wanted to, yeah. like I, I think I actually picked the green ones online because I was like, those would be cool on both of us. Yeah. Um, and I like really like green, so I actually want to try those on. Yeah, I love Switch. the green. These are the Duncan. Those are cute. So when I first put them on, I was like, are these going to be like 
Harry Potter-ish, but I kind of like the round look. Yeah, they don't look as good on me, Especially but I feel like they look cute on you. If I, if I could get my prescription in those, that'd be kind of nice. I like these ones look really expensive and like luxurious. The frames are really thin, yeah. really cute. So wait, these were the Hemmings? Yeah. These were the Duncan. Which ones are those? I like the green better on me. <laughs> I think so too. And then we also really like these ones, the Waylands. They look good on both of us. Mm -hmm. Really cute. These are probably like the most standard pair. I feel like that would look good. These really are the Wayland wide, so it's like a little bit wider. That's cute. Really nice, yeah. Really nice. And then we got one more clear pair. These are the By Brian in Crystal. Nice classic. Yeah. And then one pair of sunglasses. I think these are cool. Those are really I cool. I like the gold. I feel like these top. are very grease. Very Greece. You should bring those to Greece. I know. I think you can get um, prescription sunglasses too through Warby Parker. Oh, cool. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. You can send it in, like, send in your prescription and all that. That's stuff. cool. Hunter actually has prescription glasses. He uh, needs them, but I 2020 vision, so I'll just do blue light oh, yeah. and sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, so those were the five pairs that we got. Curious to know which ones y'all's favorite are. I feel yeah. like everyone's going to say the green on you. I love Although I do like these a lot. These are, I feel like they're very, like, dad. Yeah, it seems to be your vibe mm -hmm. lately. Yeah, uh, so you guys Zaddy can vibes. go. You guys can go to warbyparker.com backslash Julia to um, try your at-home kit. Five pairs, free shipping, and they'll also give you a return label. So if none of them work out, you can just send them right back. It's really easy. Yeah, you send them back anyways. Yeah, no, I know. I'm just saying, like, if you don't find so, one that you want. So when you get your five pairs, you always send all five back, and then they send you your custom ones based on your desires. Yeah. So, yeah, it's like, it's legit. Yeah, exactly. go to our link to get your free five pair try on at home kit. And it will be in the description box down below. Yeah. Good morning. We're good. We're good. We're in the clear. It's the next morning. I drank out of water last night. Yeah. Oh. I'm doing okay. I only had two drinks and I didn't even drink my third. Yeah, you were I didn't like drink my third drink at dinner. I drank two drinks before dinner and then I didn't have a drink for the two hour meal. Yeah, you're so after I'm the house, so dude, why am I the one drinking? You're usually the drinker. I'm not usually the drinker. Out of the two of us? More like me. I think it, I don't know. Yeah. But, feeling pretty good today. We're supposed to be at the beach right now if we want to get beach chairs, but here we are eating Triscuits at 9 a.m. I was up from 2.30 to 4.45. I couldn't sleep. Are you on the AC thing? No. I don't know where it is. Maybe it's upstairs. Oh, there it is! Idiots! Oh my god. Baking last night. Woke up and like... <gasps> that's what woke me up. I was really hot. Yeah. I slept pretty good. I slept like a baby. Good for you. Then you woke me up. Panicking about the AC. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't go up because I had to get some water and... And then you passed out. I'm about to sleep. Yeah. That was perfect. But anyways, today's going to be like a basically a full beach day. Mm hmm We haven't had a full beach day yet since we've been down here. Like... We're dedicated beach When you're with like eight people or mm -hmm. six people or even like four, at, like you want to make sure everyone's like getting to do what they want. So like maybe Joel and I want to go to the beach for a little bit. We'll go for like three hours. And then we'll go do like what everyone else says it's gonna do and stuff like that. So you kind of like balance the the week when it's a full party. Mm -hmm. but when it's just us two, we're like, let's just do the beach all day. We don't really have anything else we really want to do while we're down here. No. Other than just kind of hang by the beach, read some books, get a good tan, listen to some music, get a good tan, eat good food, drink good drinks. That's um, the life. That's the that's the vacation life. So like 9 a.m., we're gonna go grab an umbrella, reserve it, then maybe book it to grab some coffee. Uh huh. I kind of want to get a smoothie. Should we call Raw and Juicy? I know. And I, can go pick it up? I would love one, but That's we also what... need coffee. Right. So, kind of far though. We could run that line at Raw and Juicy though. It's like kind of out of control. But I hope we can do it here. Yeah. So, we're going to try to figure that out. Yeah. But, but we'll, we'll see you at the beach. Like, oh. you are coming with us. Is this the outlet? You're, you're going to have a beach day too. You're having a beach day. Um. This is the Zara men's shirt from my haul. I wore it the other day. You missed it. Yeah, Hunter wore it to dinner already. And then underneath is my Princess Polly bikini. I don't know if they still have this. A little belly chain from Lily Class. Mm -hmm. And necklaces are Windsor. And sunglasses are Windsor. 
Nice. Let's see your OG. Yours is actually real cute. This is a Zara shirt. I've been wearing it the whole trip. This is my Zara. This is my Zara shirt, though. I know. That one's actually one that Julia ordered. That I custom her. I pulled that for me in the closet. That's the this is shirt. a shirt that I got, and she's been wearing it a lot. That's like a closet staple. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad you brought it because I was going to bring it, but I was looking for it in the closet. I couldn't find it. So, so I was like, shoot. And then I found out she packed it. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I have the Zara shirt on. I've got on Essentials bathing suit. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if this is actually a bathing suit. I think they're like running shorts or something, but it's bathing suit material. So cute. And it's like reflective. Love it. Um, and then I got on my fry slides mm -hmm. and nice little belly chain. No, I'm kidding. Ah. A nice little puka shell anklet, and your which is so like old school 90s beachy. I like it. Uh huh. And your Julia chain. Oh, I got my Julia chain on. Of course. Julia chain. It doesn't really go with mine because the pattern is a little bit much, but. Julia Hunter. chain, another Miranda fry chain. I haven't taken these off since I put them on. Hunter never takes these off. These are great guys. Um. Necklaces. Necklaces. They look I, I swear I haven't taken these off since I put them on. And, and I put months. them on maybe like six, months six ago. or seven months ago. Have these crew sunglasses. Which are mm -hmm. kind of like, that's like tortoise down the side. And, and you then lost a, your other pair, right? Lost, another, lost my other crew. Oh, well, I didn't lose it. I, it. The ocean stole it. Right. They, it got stolen. It got stolen <laughs> off me. I didn't, I misplaced it. And then I have a Goran Brothers hat that says my name on it. Hunter. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> All right, um, okay. we're gonna go and we? grab the beach chairs. Boom. Okay, we are in Alice Beach again. This is kind of where we were last night. It's really cute, really pretty to come take pictures. And this is raw and juicy. Okay, the drinks have arrived. They have arrived. When we drink these, it just like tastes like you're breathing health back into your body. Right. Kelly mm -hmm. Levesque. She knows. Coffees, got all sorts of things. Kind of like Europe vibes down here in Rosemary. If you've never seen it, so cute. That's the pearl. These are the houses. It's adorable. Highly recommend to visit. There's lots of rentals here too. This is Rosemary Beach Walkover G. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. This is like the Pearl Hotel. This is kind of the setup when you're in public areas and you reserve these umbrellas and chairs you have to pay for them um some places like if you have a hotel it just comes with it how much are the the umbrellas and chairs i think 80 for the day 80 for the day okay so um you can reserve you can online, and if you reserve online you get the like one of the front two rows yeah i don't really care about being close to the water i don't either it's like as long as you're just in the sun yeah and we're um, not close to the water. You're just an extra yeah. 20 feet behind the front row. Exactly. So this is kind of the vibe, just if you've never been here. And there's different areas. Like if you own a house, sometimes you get a private a, beach. It's not a public, this isn't a public beach either. This is private right. to the people like in Rosemary. In Rosemary. But just a lot more people in Rosemary. Like the beach we were at, at the last house was only for the neighborhood we were in. Yeah. And, so and you like, have to have a key to access the beach and everything. Yeah. So everything is based on like where you rent pretty much. So where you're staying. Where you're staying. Yeah. Or yeah, where you're if you bought or whatever. So or who you, so which friends you know that are staying. Yeah, which friends you know that have a beach house. So yeah, we're excited. We're gonna plop up. We reserved some umbrellas earlier. Hunter came down and got some. We went and get our smoothies and we're gonna set up. been at the beach for a few hours. about what four hours three hours yeah and we are going back to the room we're just walking back to the room to grab maybe some water are you doing a bathing suit change um maybe, maybe but for, like, a picture mostly or something. my phone died we gotta plug that in and then we want to get like a refuel of like water i maybe want to get like a diet coke or something from, like, yeah a place or just like a refresh and then we'll go back down. The weather's perfect today. It's, perfect. it's so still. Oh, and, and it's ocean. a it's a single red flag, which means like yeah. just be cautious, but you can still get in the ocean. So it's the first day since we've been here that there's like no issues about getting in the ocean. I know it's like so it's super nice. nice. I love that. We've been swimming and oh, it's like hot. The yeah. water's like so good. <laughs> I went on a book buying binge. 
and bought all of Ernest Hemingway's books. Yes, you did. And I'm starting with the first one, so I'm You're about making a dent, babe. I'm about halfway through. I'm proud of you. It's really relaxing to read. I know, and I'm really into the book. I, I like Hemingway's style of writing. Yeah. And it's kind of like romantic and like um, adventurous. And I like that it's like all in Paris. Totally. It makes me like this miss is Paris. Like, for like a chatterbox like you, this is just adding to like your like subjects that you can like talk to people about. Yeah, just like gives you just filling your facts. bank with lots of information my, and more stories to, to share with people. Fueling my bank of fun facts. Exactly. Yeah, totally. But anyway. Okay. Let's start up and then head back out. I right, think. And we're making a little cocktail for the beach. Some Casamigos. Casamigos and water. And water. water. And you gotta. Yeah, I added a splash of MCT oil. You gotta put them in. Um, you can't bring any glass down to the beach. It's nice this place came with those, actually. Okay, I think it's mixed. Oh, Let's I'm go. So oh my god. My hair's gonna dry for my picture. Well, Come on. Time. And I did a little bikini change. The other one was Princess Polly, the blue, um, but I've really been wanting to wear this one from Windsor, and I wanted to take a photo in it, um, and actually like that Princess Polly one, it was like not the most comfortable, I have to say, maybe because of the strings, like they kind of like, I don't know, so um, this one's just, I usually wear a lot of these styles, like less triangular and more like bra style top, um, thicker bottoms, so I like this. Beach day's over. Unfortunately, the sun's still out though. We could stay out like another, like a bit longer, but we just figured they're packing up the umbrellas and stuff, so we figured might as well. Right. Outfits of the night. Just finishing getting ready. This might be one of my favorite looks that I've worn this whole trip. It is House of CB, and finally wearing my YSL shoes kind of like a second skin set and my little Jacquemus bag. I just have like a nude bra underneath and that's kind of the vibe. That's like the point. It's really cute. And then I've got my Miranda Fry Drew Huggies, a Lily Class a little drip earring and my Lily Class flames. Super glowy makeup, lots of highlighter, liquid, bronzer. Um, it's the same makeup that I put on my IGTV, my vacation makeup, and yeah, I love it. All right, people, I'm wearing this YSL shirt. Kind of tie-dye-ish. I'm wearing Lululemon pants that can be like interpreted as as like dress pants. Yeah. And then my fear of God slides. I feel like it's like laid back chic kind of, I don't know. I have a couple necklaces on. Miranda Fry, Miranda Fry, Julia Chain, Mason Margiela, Dog Tag. So good. Yeah. I love oh, it. and I have my, I bought these a while ago. Where did we buy these? Where were we when I bought these? Christian Dior. Was it LA? Um, Dallas. It was it in Dallas? Mm-hmm. But these like Christian Dior love bracelets. I, or like friendship bracelets, I think they're called. You, you, they come in packs of two. I think the idea is to give one to a friend or your spouse or something like that. That's cute. But I like them stacked. So I don't know if Julia would wear these. I would. You would? Yeah. Well, you never have. Yeah. Anyway. I'm done. All right. See you guys at dinner. We're going to George's again. I'm grabbing a water. I'm waiting for our table. We got like another probably 20 to 30 minutes. And we, we're killing time by having a I'm glass of Sancer. Um, Julia's getting a ton of stares oh at her God. outfit. I've never gotten so many stares in, like, in my like, life. Like, like not really in a not in a good way. We heard someone go like, "Oh, she's probably not like no underwear or something," and it's like because it's like tighter or something. But you do have on underwear. Well, like, I think make any it's sense. kind of like for someone that's not into fashion, like it's a little confusing when you look at it because you're like, "Oh, what is it? It's supposed to look like second skin. That's like the yeah, style." Yeah. But I think I like, like it. people it, in the South don't really dress like this, so yeah. obviously we know my style doesn't really fit in anywhere that we've lived. But you're also like, you're not that edgy. I know, mind. that's what I think. Like, I'm not choose. that far off. And the thing is, like, I'm covered. I was nervous wearing this because I normally don't like wearing head, like, tight things, but I never, like, show off 
my body in curves. anything. I You're always, always like wear big oversized. oversized stuff, and everyone gives me shit for it. And when you share, when you show skin, it's usually like you're in like a like a loose crop top or like yeah. sweatpants or something. Exactly. It's never like. Trying tight to be like overly sexy, and like now when you're wearing something tighter, it's like you see Anyways. why it's like almost annoying to do so. Exactly, like people just like it draws attention. But I think the outfit is sick, and I love it. Yeah. I don't care. Like I wanted to wear it. This in Miami would be so appropriate. Like here is very conservative, and I kind of understand that. Maybe I should have like taken that into account. Yeah. But I also like don't really care at the same time. Like I just want to wear what I want. But when you showed me all the outfits you were looking at, and you took, you had like planned all your outfits and took pictures of them. This, this was is by far my your favorite. favorite of, like, I remember a nice dinner. Outfit. Yeah, and you were like, oh, I love that one and yeah, sometimes people ask too, like if like you ever get like um, Weird about me no. like showing skin or like dressing any certain way. I think I, and you don't no. like yeah I thank goodness for that. I feel like um, You support like literally every single thing I wear and because yeah. I'm so into fashion like it just wouldn't work if like you were insecure about me like in a crop top or like yeah, so anyway People can't, can't deal. But yeah, we're excited for dinner. We're gonna sit here and just drink the rest of our wine. We're in front of like one of our favorite uh, home decor stores down here. Should I called in? The Mess. <laughs> I know, I know. Do Should I, I walk into dinner like this? <laughs> this is actually like the style right now, but I would never Showing it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah like, like to show your Or thong? just like show, but yeah, we're in front of our favorite um, home decor store down here called The Mast and yeah. it's where we found one of our favorite artists his name is William McClure yes and he is literally is the amazing. best person to follow on Instagram he yeah does. well he lives on a farm in Alabama and has like tons of goats tons of like animals he has a Weimariner like little those girls are mini horses at me. like all kinds of stuff what's that yeah those girls were staring at me I got oh. tracked I think they're looking at uh, our, maybe, our camera maybe maybe but you're getting insecure now I know um, sorry but anyways William McClure yes he's Awesome. They're, they're our dream life, we, basically. Yeah, yeah. Tons of we love following him on Instagram. He does some like, kind of like interesting stuff that I don't know. He'll like get in like arguments with other artists and stuff. Which yeah, he's really interesting. Support. He's like he's a, very forward. He's very forward. He's like a gay guy that grew up in Alabama. I think still lives in Alabama. Mm. It's like a lot of juxtaposition. And then he's like really fun, spicy personality. And then he loves animals. A great artist. He's always redoing great his artists. house. You know, artists. They're kind of renovating like, his house. Like renovating. Yeah. his like he bought like an old farm home, I think, and renovated it. It's like really cool. It's very yeah. interesting. Mm -hmm. um, but his art is awesome. And I think I said in the vlog recently, we want to put one of his big pieces of art. On the staircase, like that'd be like a really cool place for. One I think so. I think that's perfect. But anyway, all right. My arm is getting so freaking tired. I'm trying to switch it up. So I know it's heavy, right? This one's heavier. This one's like another extra half pound, which doesn't seem it like is. a lot, but after <laughs> holding it for a while, it's a it gets lot. tired. All right. I don't know if you can hear me right now, but we have salt and pepper shrimp with some rice pilaf and fried shrimp with hush puppies and fries. So good. Looks so good. Do they have tartar sauce? Um, they should. They probably don't. We had leftovers and we put them in the fridge. We just had leftover, like, fried shrimp. Shrimp. Shrimp and french fries. They probably won't be good tomorrow, but whatever. Are you curious what's in this bag? Let's see. Got Absolutely nothing. Literally one credit card. <laughs> And one lip liner, and that is all. I carry her ID. Hunter carries my ID, and, and he else. pays for everything. Wants. Well, it's me sure the same money, so it doesn't but make I, a difference. But yeah, I just carry the money and the IDs and the love. All right, now y'all, see you tomorrow. Good freaking morning. Good morning. Off to. Oh wait, are you, do you want to go grab the chairs, and then we'll do maybe the same setup as yesterday? No, because you can't grab chairs till nine. You can't even like talk to them till nine. Mm -mm. Oh. Okay. Well, what I can do, I can drop you off at the smoothie place. And then you can do a little switcheroo. So make the green, make the green. We're on the hold with restoration hardware because... We're supposed to have... We're supposed to have... Remember the bed we've been telling you about, the canopy bed that we've... They... they we've ordered three the times that keep delivering wrong parts or wrong colors or all kinds of screw it's like ups. A disaster. And now the deliveries for today. Let me send it a trip. So, we gotta tell him to come yeah. on and get back. I need to reschedule an appointment as well. Okay, we're on our way to get a smoothie, and then we gotta go get some beach chairs, and yeah. Do my... We're gonna get some Tylenol for Advil, because oh, my yeah. wisdom tooth is back hurting again. Yeah, I should have got it out like a month ago, but 
I don't know, it's hard to find time to get it out because you know when, when you get it out you're like toast for like four days. I know. It's hard for me to say, all right, I'm gonna top off. I days. almost, can you schedule it for like, well, your parents are coming so you can't schedule it for next week. Mm -mm. Then they'll be here. Yeah, you should do it in July. I would love to do it for Greece so this isn't like a problem. That's what I'm, so yeah, yeah. Well, that's not or just get some pain meds for that trip. Oh. Oh, I hate pain meds. They make you feel really weird. I like pain meds. I know you I, like I, them. I just I like know. a reason to have uh, use them. I know. Well, of course. Take them for fun. <laughs> of course not. But they do me well. Like they don't make me feel weird, and they just like take the pain away. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they make me feel weird and make me feel sick and stuff. Oh god, ow, my shoulder. God, we gotta get back in the gym. I've even thought about going back to F45. It's gonna be brutal, huh? Yeah, I've thought about it. I miss it. I do too, actually, but it's I've been watching that one stories every day, Three. and it's like, man, this is a hard, hard, hard. We're back at Raw and Juice Co. Back at our place. And we got all the love smoothies again with kale and quinoa. Mm -hmm. Kale and chia seeds, excuse mm -hmm. me. Oh, I was gonna tell you, when you ordered our poppies and you go, do you want cream or half and half, they're the same thing. Oh. Um, back. I thought I thought there's, half and half was half cream, half milk. Oh, maybe it is. <laughs> it is that, huh? Yeah. Right. So it is technically cream. When you order cream, it's creamer. When you get half and half, it's half creamer. No, half milk. it's it's this it's cream like half and half is cream when you order it at a coffee shop. Anyway, but you're technically right. It is half and half. <laughs> Do you think they add like heavy whipping cream at a coffee shop? No. Well, when I said, do you want half and half of cream, she didn't blink an eye. I think she was typing stuff in. Is it she didn't blink an eye or she didn't bat an eye? And why would it be bat? Right, like you're batting an eye. Bat your eyes, like. Why don't we go to like CVS or whatever, get your Tylenol and get big waters for you. I know. So we went to get water bottles for the beach and I'm gonna go get an umbrella first today. And the water is freaking beautiful today. All right, we at the beach. Julia grabbed a couple water bottles. She got me some Advil or Tylenol for my jaw. Or my uh, wisdom tooth. Waters because we need it. Yeah. Try to drink two of these today because we're in the sun. So, I'm uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to drink a lot of water today. And lots of SPF. Yeah, we've been throwing on the sunscreen. We've been out here about an hour since I last updated you guys. Um, found some shells. We surfed a couple waves, body waves. We body oh, surfed a couple you're waves. Good at body wow. surfing. I suck at body surfing. Here, show them the shells you found. Oh, yeah. Really cute. Kind of cool. So Hunter showed you his Hemingway book, and I'm reading Body Love by Kelly Lebeck. I probably, I'm almost done with it. I'm like, have like one fourth left, so it's a fantastic read. Right. This is so nice, y'all. It's been nice. Our routine here, as we showed y'all, is we go and get a little smoothie. Oh yeah, I remember. And it's nice because you get really full off that. Yeah. And then you can chill at the beach as long as you can until like, you know, you like maybe like snack. one, two, or three until you need a snack. You grab just like a little snack, maybe it's just some chips, or maybe you go and grab like salad. a salad or some like veggies and hummus, and then we go to like a later dinner. It's like the perfect, like just perfect I actually day. like coming a little bit earlier and then leaving at like three, so you can like get ready and leave the house by five. Like if you get out here at nine, then you have nine to three is like a full day. And like you start to, once you start to get pink, that's when you leave the beach. It means you've had too much time. I, um, we asked that question the other day on my Instagram if people are like beach people or pool people. Yeah. When you're like at the beach, do you want like a pool at your house? And although it is nice to have a pool at your house, if you can get in the ocean, I'd much rather be at the beach. Oh, totally. But we couldn't get in the ocean for the first like six days that we were here. I know. And so... You don't really need a house with a pool. Yeah, but I, I would say if you're coming somewhere like this or somewhere hot, it's nice to either have a pool at your house or be in a neighborhood where you can have pool access. Yeah. Because it is nice, especially if you have kids, like... You don't want to be like your kids all sandy and like if you have like younger kids they like start crying and acting up like you want to be able to like monitor them at the pool. Yeah. I feel like pool's good for like children. 
Definitely. It's like more controlled. Let's yeah. put it that way. Like I know when I go to Florida with my family, we go to we used to go to Destin every summer. We still do actually. We go to Destin every summer. And it's nice having a pool at a we stay at a hotel, it's nice having a pool because we've always had little kids in my family. Yeah. And so we usually start off at the beach for a few hours and then you end the final couple hours at the pool. And it's yeah. nice kinda like wind down, kinda like get all the sand off of you. Yeah, it's like a nice little all the salt. decompression from yeah. the ocean. Uh this sun is super strong, so you want to make sure you're wearing sunscreen. Hunter and I both tan pretty easily, but we started with SPF 50. On our full body, like full 50 body all over for the everywhere. first few days. Head to toe, face, lips, body. This is just so, I'm just so, so relaxed. I know. Uh, like, and it's been, I, I've really enjoyed reading. I know, right? Like, and I feel like you and I are way too stressed to like read at home. Like, we have to read on vacation because we can't really like... Well, we're not stressed though. Like this is the thing. I, mean, I was telling Hunter and I come on vacation. Like I'm so relaxed. I'm so happy. I know that's what what vacation's for, and like everyone feels that way. But I'm trying to figure out how I can go back to my normal life and implement things to like lower stress levels and like make it. I don't know. I want to feel happier. Like well, every day. with our jobs in the space that we're in, even on vacation, we're usually working. Yeah. And I guess with my tech sales job, I was always working too on vacation. I never took like true PTO. Yeah. And like now it's like always doing emails, always editing something, always like, I mean, photos is part of it. And that's, we kind of enjoyed the photo. Yeah, part. I think it's been kind of fun. But like. Just feeling inspired. Yeah. But I think also it's like, I don't know, for the first time we're just kind of like winding down. Even in Europe, it's hard to wind down because you're kind of like moving around, going on like yeah. touring historical things, museums. It's never just like, let me just chill and like listen to the waves. And this is, this is it. This, this is, is it. Where it's at. I think that's why 38 is so great. I know. Well, it's like basically you could be pretty much be in like Hawaii. I mean, obviously Hawaii is a little bit different because it's like so tropical and lush, but like the beaches here are beautiful yeah, and it's I, like in the US and it's not far like it's honestly a very special place if you never come like you should book a trip for all of you who have never been here before this beach or like this area is a place where you just truly like you chill you wake up you have some yeah. breakfast you come to the beach and chill it there's not a ton else to do around here other than just relax and I think even like Delaney and Clayton it was their first time here yeah and they loved and, it and we like we're trying to explain to them like it's not like there's a ton of beach clubs or anything. It's not like you're like at like the Moffy Coast or something. Like it's literally, you're just here, you wake up, there's not a ton to do around the house or anything like that. You just come to the beach and hang or come to the pool and just chill, yeah. wind down. And, and honestly, it's such a good place for families. Like I would say the number one thing is that it is a family spot. Like you literally see like, this is the family behind us. Family there, family there, family there, family there, all little kids. Like, it's definitely a family destination. It's actually not so, like, just adults only. It's all kids. So if you have kids, like, perfect place to come. Um, but also, if you don't have kids, like, you're still going to enjoy it. And I, Hunter and I actually like it because we're not really, like, crazy partiers. So we like that. It's kind of chill and things kind of close, like, at 9, well, 10. We also say, like, we've said before, but we like places where there's people around. Yeah. Like the last beach we were at with our group, the house we were in, the beach was so private and there was like no one around, which was nice because we were with friends. But if it was just us two, we much prefer to be around like yeah. people you and like feel other like chairs. Alone. Like it doesn't feel crowded because the chairs are spaced out, and but it's nice to still see people rather than just be like on a remote island by yourself. Like we were in Fiji. Like we told y'all, we came home early from our honeymoon because it was just like we didn't see a soul. It was like a ghost town. Yeah. Which was nice for our honeymoon for the first like week, but we were there for almost like two and a half weeks, three weeks, and it just got like kind of like, boring. where is everybody? We were yeah. playing like chess with each other. We're like, what do we do now? No, literally. We were like, we're actually so bored. Like, let's just go home. I know that sounds bad, but like, we were like, we'd rather just, I don't know, I've cut it short because we like literally were like twiddling our thumbs. Like we had nothing to yeah. do, so. I mean, after like two weeks of sex, we're like, I'm good. Oh, shut up. You wish. I am good. <laughs> I'm tapped. Ah, uh, sure. Here we are. This is what we'll be doing for the next few hours, and we'll check in later. We just try to take a picture and look at Hunter's knees. This is the worst case scenario: <laughs> is to get. It's the worst. Holy sandy. Look at your hair. All your hair follicles caught the sand. I know. It's like a netting. It's like a net. Ew. Yeah, go. You gonna get in the ocean with me? Stop it! No, no, no! I hate you. Ow! That's the worst. <laughs> 
gross. Okay, we're going in the water now. Can we get cocktails today at the beach? Yeah, I'm down like maybe like pina coladas or strawberry daiquiris. Yeah. And oh, where we get our cocktails, we just walk to the Pearl and you can walk through the, the lobby of the Pearl and go to the pool. And up some stairs, they have like a little bar where you can order some, some drinks. Get yeah. some drink at the beach. Oops. Ready for a dip? I'm ready. Let's do it. I'm leaving my sunglasses. Tip from Smart. The Smart. Should I leave my hat? We're probably out here further than we need to be with you this camera. You need to be very careful. Can we Hunter? take it out to the, uh, no, the sandbar? Out to the sandbar? Yeah. Hunter dropped the first camera, so. And I know with those buttery, sunscreeny hands. Oh. And we're gonna lose all the vlog footage. I know. All right, I'm gonna take you back. All right, we are headed up to grab a break. Oh, hi. Okay, we just met a subscriber. In uh, yeah, you guys oh, live in here. Texas. Uh, we got here today. We're leaving Thursday. Okay. Cute, yeah, we'll get a pic, but I had to show you guys. We're literally matching oh in our white shirts. So cute, we look like twins actually. I we know, I love it, it looks so good. <laughs> Sorry, as I said, we were walking up and we just met, her name is Bailey, right? Yeah. We just met Bailey, that was really cute. But we're gonna get a little drink, here's the pearl right here. Um, here, let's wash off our feet. Hi. How are you, sir? Yeah, enjoy the boat, enjoy the ocean. It's beautiful today. Yeah. It's nice. Perfect. These slides are actually very convenient for the beach because they're rubber. I don't know how you stand in that water. Why? It's just water from... From everyone's feet. It, it, it's fine. <laughs> I am not a germaphobe. Hunter's a germaphobe. I'm actually not that big of a germaphobe, but there's some little things like that that kind of weird me out. Bother you, yeah. Yeah, you're not like that crazy, but I am like literally like I'll eat food off the ground. I'll. Well, I will too. I'll drink dirty water. Like I don't give a shit about anything like that. I'm just well, like not... you say that, but then, like I'm fine well, drinking our sometimes. natural tap water, and you don't. don't want well, to drink it. I'm fine drinking the water. It doesn't freak me out, but I don't like the way it tastes. I'm like it tastes like chlorine. Anyways, now I'm squeaking. We're gonna grab a drink. Should we go fine. ranch water vibe? I think or we go ranch colada? water vibe. Ranch water. We're gonna but feel better. But because it's so cold and hot, it's nice to get something like slushy in my tongue. I have to admit, babe, not drinking yesterday is kind of a vibe. Like what getting. You, you drink last night. I drank one glass of wine. We didn't drink at dinner, and it was like, getting in bed, not like boozy, was amazing you guys yeah. and then waking up the next day is even better and you're I like I, I love myself <laughs> I wonder if this isn't hurting for you because you didn't drink as didn't much drink. I know okay we're going in we can tan all right so here's the pearl really cute hotel they have a pool right here at the hotel we've stayed here before we liked it um it's a really great hotel and then they have a little rooftop Havana beach rooftop which you can easily just like come up to whenever to get a drink. I got a pina colada and it's so good. It's coconutty drink. Yum, mm -hmm. that is good. I feel like down here, they know how to make a pina colada like not overly sweet so you don't get sick. This is like basically... for some reason, all the ones I've had are like not super sugary. Like a spiked mm -hmm. lemonade. Basically. Yeah. This is stunning. Good. You're good. Mm. Like so let's it. get off the sand for a second. I'm starting to get pretty burned. My that legs are. Sand work. is so much work. My knees are. Isn't it? Look at the difference in my top of my leg and the bottom. Almost like red versus bronze. Yeah. You were getting red. Anyhow. Yeah. Nice day out. There's a lot of like weddings and stuff happening out here. Mm -hmm. I feel like we've already seen Beautiful more day. of you guys, more like followers and subscribers. Like this week than we did last week. We oh my god! Well, week, and those are just the ones that say hi because I feel like a lot of people. I would be the same way. Like when I see somebody I know, I like get nervous. But yeah. we've met in person at least ten of you, at least. Yeah, and we'll get messages like, "Oh, I saw you, but I was nervous." Mm-hmm. We, we don't want y'all to feel nervous. Oh wait, we're, we're just people. We're very um, warm and fuzzy if you come up, so mm -hmm. <laughs> don't worry. Don't ever feel scared. We won't make you feel awkward. We'll never make you feel anyway, awkward. Anyway, but I was saying like yeah. I feel like uh, this like more people are starting to funnel in this week. Totally. Yeah. You know, I swim look. 
bikini shop with white flare pants. I'm chugging this. And white sunglasses. I'm chugging this, but I have a second, mm. so just in case. I don't know, we just get to back up. This is so good. I'm so happy I went to Kenya. Mm. I thought I got a backup because I thought we would share this one. Or like I would have some of that and then we could each like have one. No, I don't really like that. That will hurt my stomach. Oh. Maybe we should have done a shot. That'd be nice. We could do that. Oh well, no, because then we're gonna get really tired and then we'll go back for dinner. We're like, yeah, we're so gonna be yeah, not gonna like it. <laughs> it's little, two little kids in a wagon. So Wagon's so practical at the beach. So practical. Great move. Alright, well. Okay, shall we? We shall. Go back. We were, we were basically gonna get a ranch water to not be sugary, and then we got the two sugary drinks. Unintentional. I didn't know this was gonna be so sugary. It's just really they add sugar. It's more citrusy. Too. I know, no, but I think they add sugar. It's like, you know how you add a bunch of sugar to lemonade? Yeah. I think they or did else that. it's just like. But that's what I like. I know. That's true. We drink like mezcal and lemon juice like with no sugar in it mm -hmm. most of our drinks don't have any kind of sugar no like at all no when we drink old fashions i put like i try to do um natural sugars like crushed up dates, dates. I, I crush up dates for like mm -hmm. the sugar but nice to meet you thank you, you too enjoy the rest of your trip y'all are just starting out we're kind of we're jealous we're like about to leave y'all are just starting so Cute. all right well thank you Wanna go back to the beach? Daydreams I remember, nights I never do. Number one contender, stealing all my thoughts is you. We just got ready for dinner. Do outfits really quick. Here's mine. So this is the skirt from my Zara haul. I threw a little chain belt over it. This is from Miranda Fry. Um, this is a Walmart kind of like knit sweater tank. It was in my Walmart um, post that I did with Hunter. We did like couples Walmart fashion on Instagram a while back and it's by Free Assembly. It's really cute and I just cropped it because Usually when I wear these style tanks, it's kind of cropped. Um, anyways, it's a really nice like quality, like kind of sweater, thicker than like a normal tank top. And then my Boohoo heels, which were in my haul as well. And then I've also got my little mini Jody and my Drew Huggies from Rand Fry, my watch, some rings. I wonder if I should lose the watch. I think it's fine. So that's cute. Um, and it's plenty warm, so I don't even think I need a jacket. I was gonna do like a blazer over this, but I don't think I'm gonna need it. And then I also like was thinking about wearing sneakers. It's so cute with sneakers, and I was like, maybe I should do that. But I'm just really liking dressing up on bake cakes. So why not? But I might bring these just in case I get like annoyed and I just want to throw them off. So. What's up, folks? I'm wearing. Oh. I'm wearing this long sleeve tee. I got it from UAL in Nashville. It's like a. Kind of like consignment, but it's just like items that didn't sell at other stores, I believe. And then they go and sell at this store. I don't know, for much cheaper. I have on some Zara shorts. I like that they're like nice and short. And then I have on my Alexander McQueen tennis shoes. Which are kind of like a, almost like a, it's a chunky sneaker, almost like a chihuahua in a way. But they're just like wide and chunky. I think you like them now that I'm tan. Maybe. <laughs> Everything looks better tan drinking some Coronas. We did a little happy hour on the porch. You wanna go get burgers? You can get something casual. Cause I'm in full heels and skirt. It's all good. You got the car keys, I got this key. I got the car keys, yeah. Okay. The strainer off? Straightener, yeah.
and then dinner. I like the colors you got. Me too. You look cute. Thank you. These are those shoes. I've actually worn them in a couple of vlogs and I've had a few questions about them, but yeah, they're Alexander McQueen's. Good morning. We are at the beach. Um, last day, we have to leave the airport in like an hour or two. I would book an egg head right now, but it's all good. It's very practical for the windy ocean um, or beach and ocean, honestly. But Hunter is in the water right now and chatting it up with everyone on the beach and in the ocean. And I'm like, this is way too much social interaction. Like, I can't handle it. So I came back to a uh, hermit under the umbrella and I was like, oh, where is he? And I went out there and he was like talking to people and I'm like, I just can't right now. So I was like, turned around, I'm like, nope. It's my introvert vibes. Sometimes I, I do really like talking to people, don't get me wrong, but he's been talking to people all day. So like we've already had multiple conversations, like long conversations with people and he just keeps going. So I'm like, I just like can't do it right. I, I'm a little tapped and he like a little breather. Um, so. If you ever see me in person just holding back, it's not because I'm mean. I'm just get drained from, you know, when you talk to too many people. I'm just need some little recharge time being by myself. So anyways, um, I think we're going to try and get some lunch before we head to the airport. We're so sad, but I think it's time. Like, I'm definitely glad we extended the trip because I feel like we needed just a little bit more of a fix. And I finally feel like vacation fulfilled now. And I think I'm ready to go home, but obviously it's never like fun leaving, but I feel better about it than I did before. We decided to, we should end this vlog on a high note while we're at the beach. A high note, but a sad note. We're I like know. sad that it's, it's over. Sad. We were bickering earlier. <laughs> we're like, we're ready to get out of here. We, yeah. we need some space. I think it's time. But we're past that now. And we're not wishing we just like, we're here a little bit longer. I know, always. But we'll be back. We've got another trip yeah. in a few weeks. Should, we're we, going should we extend? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We gotta go home. We gotta go home. We're um we're going to Greece in, in like, three weeks, yeah, you guys. So we weeks. definitely have stuff to look forward to. Like we're we're like delusional at this point. Like we just want a vacation all summer. Yeah. But I think it's just like the retaliation of 2020, don't you think? Totally. Like it's I like, want to just never be home it's again. It's the Roaring Twenties. I saw an it's article about 20s. it uh, this morning. We're going to Mykonos. It's the we Roaring Twenties. We are 20s. gonna be Roaring Twenties in Mykonos. And I feel like now after reading the uh, after reading this Hemingway book, where it's like they're just like there with their friends, like having like drinks and going from like town to town, from Paris to San Sebastian. Oh it's God. like yeah. I want that life. It's I want gonna it. be the vibe. But anyway, we love you guys. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Yeah. And we'll see you see back you soon. in Nashville. Stay tuned. More Bye. vlogs when we get home. Bye.